here at Tigers Preserve, the Institute of Greatly Endangered and Rare Species here in Myrtle Beach, South Carolina. It's a big cat resort here. It's a place where the animals have everything that they could want. This is where we have a couple hundred animals that live with us. And some of those animals are ligers. What are you drawing? A liger. What's a liger? It's pretty much my favorite animal. It's like a lion and a tiger mixed. Bread for its skills and magic. Napoleon Dynamite, you know? That's what started the whole craze about ligers. People still, even now, don't really know or understand what a liger is. People love big cats. They all think they're fantastic. And what's bigger than the biggest of all big cats? And that's our ligers, these 900 pound, 12 foot tall, gigantic characters. father of the Ligers is Arthur the Lion. He was just this gentle, easygoing lion. So Arthur the Lion met Ayla the Tiger. Ayla the Tiger is this incredibly passive, sweet female Bengal tiger. And the two of them getting together is what produced the Ligers. We weren't sure what we were going to have when the first Ligers came around. No information about Liger personality was on the books. There's some kind of myth or legend about them. They're mysterious. They break social ideas and rules in some way, and they're also kind of like a unicorn or a mermaid in another way. And we started trying to raise those kids up as our family guys. They lived with me. <laughs> they lived with me, all four of them, in my um, home at the facility. And slept in my bed, and they hung out with me 24-7, pretty much. They, they were able to stay in my house probably for about four or five months, because they get quite large, quite quickly, about a half a pound a day. So of course, they have to move out to bigger quarters. I mean, these are my kids. I've been dealing with them probably more than what people deal with their children. And so I don't get scared. I'm more afraid of getting, jumping out of an airplane. That to me seems crazy, but walking in with a cat doesn't. I've been working around big cats now for about 15 years and there are still things that I'm picking up and learning, um, even on a daily basis, that you see new things that have always been there, um, but you're finally paying enough attention that you can actually see them. It, it's a lot of little subtleties, you know? The tilt of the head, the tip of the ear, you know, that he turns his head this way, he, you know, drops his nose, he hunches his shoulders, he starts to stalk. As time goes on, you start to see how they're communicating with each other, how they're communicating the same thing to you. I've had ligers when I've traveled, or cats when I've traveled, who like classical music, and then if you put on something they don't like, whether it's heavy metal or rap, they just start crying in the background and they start whining. So then you put back the music, the more easy listening music, and they're happier with it. <laughs> they enjoy going out, they enjoy having this interactive experience coming out and seeing these new sights, sounds and smells and doing these new and different things. Animals in cages never get that kind of experience. So when my ligers see the leash, they see it as this bond of trust and friendship where they're going to go out with you. We're going to go out, we're going to have some fun. There's a social idea that somehow hybrids just aren't aren't right. Lions, tigers, leopards, and jaguars are the panthera. They're that all one family. They look dramatically different, think? but all four of them can interbreed with each other and create viable offspring. There's such a myth, such a rumor that somehow the liger is less than the lion or tiger, that it's somehow weak, that it's sickly, that ligers die young, that they don't have all of the incredible uh, prowess of the mother or father. The liger's full of hybrid vigor 
He is full of energy. He lives just as long. He's not prone to disease. His large size doesn't put pressure on his body. His body is made to take that pressure. That ligers are sterile is another quick myth. Everybody says, well, they grow big, but of course they're sterile. This is a crazy notion that people just apply to hybrids. Hybrids reproduce. Ligers can reproduce with either lions or tigers. Female ligers reproduce much easier than male ligers do. The potential for a liger to exist is totally a realistic thing. That given that there were 100,000 lions and 100,000 tigers that had some chance meetings, their habitats overlap every bit as much as polar bears and grizzly bears do to make up a pizzly. There are polar bear grizzly hybrids that have been shot in the wild that have been shown to be full-sized living adults. Doc Antle created something where people could come out and they could experience a wild animal in their lap, but not just a wild animal, their favorite wild animal, be it a tiger, be it a chimpanzee, be it a bird of prey, be it uh, the liger, be it the African elephant bubbles. And I think the liger has the capacity to help people take that step and go, you know, he's really cool and the world's even cooler than I thought it was. And because I now think that it's a more unique and special place, saving it may have much more personal feelings for me than it did before I met that liger. And that translates into conservation on a broader level because Tigers uses this money to do things like go to other places like Thailand. We just sent some of our staff to Thailand. The staff went to Africa at the Savannah Cheetah Foundation and uh, actually taught people who have been around cheetahs for a long, long time how to give the cheetahs a more enriching life. It just was an overwhelming success. We have been able to take substantial funding back to Africa and Asia and put that money into grassroots projects that very specifically support endangered big cats and other animals. Yeah, our intention is to give people a connection with and an understanding of wildlife in a new and different way. That there is something bigger and grander to the world. We hope that that stimulates in them the real understanding that this is a vital piece of the world that would be fantastic to be around for generations to come. Mm -hmm.